Bez kazań od początku prohibicji Miałem już nie prawić kazań, ale nie lubię policji Moja sprawa się umarza, ale nie umorzą wszystkich Moja sprawa, ile jaram wszyscy w górę zapalniczki Hello, I'm Peter Sharushi, I'm the editor of the Drug Reporter website And I'm sitting here with Mata, a Polish hip-hop artist Who came to the United Nations, to Vienna, to tell his story Can you please first introduce yourself and, and tell us your story, like what, what was your trouble with the cannabis laws in Poland? Yeah, uh, so my name is Michał Matczak and I'm an artist from Warsaw. And last year I was driving with my friend to play football in, in my hometown and the police stopped us and they searched us and, and they found less than 1.5 gram. Uh, I had that and my friend, uh, he had like 0 0.8 gram. So, uh, yeah, they arrested us, we spent the night uh, at jail and then they arrived at my apartment in the morning, so like, classical procedures. Mieli razem dwa gramy, dwie noce razem spędzili na dołku W systemie jest pojebany, zrazu w końcu to bacio No bo zawiną ci wnuka i się dowiesz o tym z faktów Próbują oszukać nas, my chcemy faktów I zasilać polską gospodarkę rok w rok o 10 miliardów Ja jestem łazić, się bawić i zdepenalizować Potem sadzić, palić i zalegalizować My case went, went to the trial to... to, to to the court and yeah, for, for one year it was like proceeding and a month ago the judge told that the, the, the case is dismissed. Mm, yeah, but, but the prosecutor, uh, he appealed from that and now I'm gonna go one more, one more time to the court for like a normal case. So mm, yeah, it happened last January, last year and it's still like in, in process. <laughs> Jointem zamiast prawdziwych bandytów Chłopakom z dziewiczym wąsem zaglądają do odbytu Dziewczyną co zaszły w ciąże zaglądają do odbytu Zrobiło się niewygodnie za pieniądze podatników How did it make you feel when, you, when the police arrested you? It was a funny experience because uh, I'm a public figure in my, in my country and I, I was wearing a hat so they didn't recognize me at, at the first moment and they were not really nice and, and aggressive and whatever and when we went to jail I took my hat off and they were like whoa what happened and started taking photos with me, so it was kind of funny, but but still uh, I saw their attitude at, at the first moment, so that's probably the, the most common attitude they have when, when they s stop young people and, you know, they might even use, use violence towards some of them, so so not really a nice experience, but, but for me it was different because, you know, they, they know me, so. So you think you are luckier than the average Polish guy who is arrested for yeah, cannabis? Yeah, for sure, yeah. Serio, zapakaj kajdanki. Najpierw kazali zdjąć majtki, potem zabrali sznurówki. No i w końcu się poczułem jak w 97. W 28. dzień styczniowy mordo, co do kurwy. Tyle lat już trwa ten skandal, january pali zrówki jak baria. What happens to you when you are in the police station? What, what are they doing with you? They take your clothes off, they search you, they, they ask you questions. First you are in the police station, when, um, Seen on a bench, next there is a computer where, when the police officer writes some things and then they take you to another place where you can spend the night. Yeah, and then they um, drive you to your, to your apartment and and the little, no, not little, but big cute dogs come and, and they smell it all around so to find some weed. So yeah, that was happening. They didn't find anything in my apartment. What made you decide to uh, start a kind of campaign for changing the drug laws in Poland? I'm kind of popular so I can use my voice and, and speak loudly and I didn't have any big troubles, you know, mm, I, I wasn't beaten and whatever, but I had this opportunity to use my voice to mm, to discuss the whole case of the criminalization and, and, and cannabis in my country and to speak also for, for, for my friends, for, for the youth in, in Warsaw, in you know, all the other cities and that was the main idea and, and main motivation. How was the reception of this case in the media, in the Polish media? Was it negative, positive? I believe it was kind of negative at the first moment because people perceived it as me um, trying to encourage people to smoke and whatever. And this was also the attitude of the prosecutor and the, 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 they, they were saying that this is my goal to, to encourage young people to smoke uh, weed. And so the first reaction w wasn't really good and I also tried to use songs, like protest songs. Uh, I went to national TV also. And there was this one uh, event uh, for like best-selling albums and, and, and artists. So I went there and uh, I openly said that uh, I'm in supporting the criminalization of marijuana and it should happen. And I told my story about my, my arresting. So yeah, some, some good points, some, some, some bad points, some, some good receptions and, and some, some worse. Uh, but still, I, we have like an Instagram account uh, we have 
300,000, 50 followers, more or less. So I believe the, um, this is a big platform for a discussion. And, uh, and now I'm trying to focus more on just like talking about the topic and, and discussing in, in such places where we are right now, not then like making protest songs and music, which might be um, interpreted in different ways because it's, it's art, you know? So I try to focus now more on yeah, like this rational approach, not, not emotional and artistical. You said that you were accused of uh, encouraging young people to use cannabis. So what do you uh, answer to these people when they are accusing you of this? Well, what did I answer? It was, that was not my main, my main goal wasn't to encourage those people, but yeah, and my idea was to change the, the law and to use like, and I used mm, democratic tools, which was starting a foundation and, and discussing the topic. So that wasn't my goal. And, and, and I also said it in the court and, and publicly. Is there any political support for your uh, idea, for your proposal in mm. Poland? Yeah, yes. Yeah. There are some initiatives. Uh, there are some, mm, some people in the government that believe that, that that should happen. But we are a really conservative society, so so it's not really accepted by, by, by other people. So that's why uh, they don't want to speak about it publicly and loudly. And I can do that because I'm not really a politician. So there is a generational gap, right? So the older people don't get it? You don't, don't get? Yeah, they don't really get it. They, they get the medical case because they, they, this is their, their part of their life sometimes. But I actually remember one case after, my, after me being uh, arrested and, and also one of the politicians from a left-wing party, she, she made a, an interview where she took 1.5 gram and she showed how much is it and what happens. So yeah, it, it kind of raised up the, the discussion once again, and I believe because the, the elections are coming this summer, so it was a big topic and the media discussed it a lot, and the youth and, and the young adults, they were like, what is happening, why they stopped him, and it should not happen. So I believe some of the parties this summer might use it as, as a tool to gain young supporters, and, and my case might be an, an evidence for them to, you know, for this topic to be vivid and, and important. So why did you come here to the UN, to Vienna? To tell my story, to share my story with, with people and to ask some questions, to ask the, the countries which have like better policies when it comes to cannabis, less strict than in my country. How did it affect the young people? If after decriminalization, young people started to use cannabis more and did it cause any problems in their societies? That was my idea and I got some, some answers as well. Um, we talked with Uruguay and Portugal which are well known for, for being, having a very open policy and it was a nice experience. So many people are afraid that if you decriminalize cannabis use, then a lot of young people will start using because yeah. they say it's now okay. What do you say to them? There is this gl global agenda, not every country, but some, some countries believe banning drugs and will stop young people from doing that. I don't believe, I don't believe so because I'm one of the examples that it didn't stop me from doing that. And it will not encourage them, but only stop the uh, bad results of being arrested and you know the whole procedure. So the criminalization still won't allow people to sell weed in every shops and whatever. So it will still be far away from 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 the kids. It will just affect the the consequences, which are really harmful, I believe, because it's not a pleasant experience to to stay at the police station and, and jail and and being raided. So. Yeah, that's, that's my response. What would be the ideal scenario for you in Poland in the future? Uh, full legalization of, of cannabis, of course, but also I believe in the society need to be well prepared for that and we are really far behind, so it might happen in many years. And I also want to use my foundation uh, to educate people and to, to push the society towards legalization, but not in a rapid way, not in a like rebellious way. We have to legalize now and whatever. I believe the criminalization should be the first step. And then after long preparations of, of the society, it might be legalized because it's also a big profit to the government. And, and then it is uh, regulated and, and there is no such situations where, where dealers just sell you fake stuff or whatever. Yeah, that, that's what I believe. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. 
2040 ma te na prezydenta skurwy synu Jak to polis mam, czy szukuje mnie Przecież mam prawo nosić to co chcę To co moje jest moje, co ja ram nie W razie co, nie wiem przecież jak i gdzie Jak to polis mam, czy szukuje mnie Przecież mam prawo nosić to co chcę To co moje jest moje, co ja ram nie